Hey everyone, um, today I'm going to talk about the Uber update and, uh, Valve's de decision to make TF2 free to play. Um, I'm just going to go through all of them as they were teased. So first off, Mobster Monday, we have the Tommy Slob, which really, um, what Valve's been trying to do is, like, make the classes play a little differently with these new weapons, but in my opinion, the Tommy Slob, well, it's, it just, it makes scouts really easy to kill. Like, this whole update seems to me has just destroyed scouts. I mean, you can still play them, but if they have these weapons, it's usually a little bit easier. I'll get onto that later with a couple more classes where it's more, it's easier to kill scouts. But the Tommy Slav is all stealthy. I mean, silent spin up. I think it's 40% now. I think it used to be 60 which is good because it was ridiculous. I have i don't actually have one because they're really expensive and I didn't want to craft one. So I haven't tried it out yet. But the spin-up makes it really easy to kill anybody charging at you. If it's a heavy with a minigun, you'll probably lose because the 20% uh, speed reduction makes it balance for an another heavy, but anybody else, it's really still, there's no contest. The family business don't much to say about it, it's a shotgun, it has like 8 in the clip instead of 6 I believe, and it does less damage, nothing wrong with that, um, if you have good aim I guess it's better. The eviction notice, 50% uh, faster firing speed, so plus 50% and 60% less damage, so overall you're doing less damage but you swing faster so you get more hits in, that could be good if the, the opponent's faster than you maybe, because you're heavy I mean. So you can hit them before they get away. Um, then there's the hat, which looks pretty cool. I mean, I can't say anything about the hat. It's not OP or anything. The set effects do nothing on all of these. They they should give them something, not a stat per se, but something. I think they did it because you can craft the hats with one of the items. Um, that's not very known, but you can craft these hats with the items. So that might be why. Uh, the new spy weapons, the enforcer, does more damage. Um, this is like making the spy play a shooting role, allowing him to play a shooting role. As I said, they were making him do different roles. Uh, but the cloak time is half of a second longer. So when you click to cloak, it takes half of a second. That for pulling a dead ringer up, that effect is there too. So that's a pretty long time. I think that's balance. I'm not going to use it. I prefer my my uh, Saharan Spy or just the normal one with uh, less cloak depending on the situation. The big earner, I don't like that either um, because I already have enough cloak if I'm going to go stab somebody. Like it's You don't need it for the normal Spy Watch or the other Spy Watch, I can't remember what it's called, Cloak and Dagger. Um, but for the dead ringer, why wouldn't you just use the eternal reward? It doesn't. Maybe if you want to disguise first, but it's it's really loud then without the set. I wouldn't use it. Then there's the misc item. It's pretty cool. It's a rose. The hat. Pretty cool too. Um, and barn blitz, a new map. It's pretty good. I played it a few times. I like it. The uh, sniper set, the bizarre bargain. It's making snipers headshot, which the um, Sydney sleeper didn't do at all just body shots. I try to headshot anyway because um, if you don't, you don't kill any heavies. The Sean Ch Shahan Shah? I butchered that. Um, it does more damage when you're less than 50% health and less when you're higher, so I think that's pretty cool. A little variety. I usually don't use my sniper weapon anyway because spies don't dare sneak up on me. Don't need to turn around and hit them. Usually because I only play it when there's no spies around. And what's next? We have the sniper hat. It's a little turbany thing. It's okay. I gotta stop talking about hats. It's not that exciting. Um, the demo men weapons. Uh, I think this set's a little OP. But they did just nerf it. It used to be you crit at any range, now you only crit at long range again. I think that's okay, I guess. The disadvantage being that you cannot um, 
you can't shoot or anything. So there is a disadvantage, but still it's like insta crits all the time and now that it's not like that and you can maybe live then I think it's okay but before it was really really bad and all ammo becomes health so you kill somebody they they drop their gun you get healed it's just a melee based class and it works really well and the charge is so fast uh, the scout weapons uh, I mean some people like them I haven't tried the atomas Atomizer, sorry. Uh, it allows you to triple jump, and third jump deals 10 damage, and then it's just, it nerfs the bat stats, so it just swings slower and doesn't do as much damage. I'm not sure if that's on effect or not, so you can jump around with your primary weapon, triple jump. I'm sure it would be, but I don't use my melee weapon as a scout that much anyway. I stick to my scatter gun and my pistol. I use it occasionally. Um, I don't like it because it does so much less damage. And the soda popper, it gives you mini crits as you run, which is pretty cool. You can run around, but the thing is, it auto deploys them. So, I mean, unless you switch to another weapon, you're not going to get to use those when you want to use them. So that's what keeps it balanced, I guess. It's not very good. I don't. I prefer the scatter gun over any of the other ones, the force of nature is okay, but the scatter gun still will do the do the job better. And the winger, it it, it um does I think it's 50% no 15% more damage, excuse me, and 60% uh, less clip. I wouldn't use it because um the damage is so much less for the less clip. So I mean, really I don't I don't see it. I'd rather use the other pistol. I'd get more shots up. And the hat looks pretty cool. It's a little mask, superhero mask thing. What is next? Oh yes, the medic weapons. Um, oh, I skipped over all the soldier stuff. Sorry. The soldier stuff. Liberty launcher. It uh, one less shot, and it goes 30% faster. So that's pretty cool. I was saying how uh, everything really made the scout easier to kill. This is one of those things. It can hit the scout easier. And so is the next thing, the reserve shooter. Three seconds after after switch, it gets mini crits. So that's I'd actually use that. Just I don't even rocket jump or anything, but I'd still use that. It has a 50, 15 percent faster weapon switch speed. It seems pretty cool. Even if they're just jumping, it still counts. So that's another hit, hit against scouts. Um, the Mark Gardener. It does, it, it's a, I think it's crits, but it might be many crits. Wait. Yeah, it's crits when the wielder is rocket jumping, so when you come down and hit them, you get a crit. It doesn't get random crits. Nothing exciting there. This set is trying to make people rocket jump more, do airborne stuff, obviously. Next is the man treads, which deals three times falling damage. Um, on your enemy and 75% reduction in push force taken from damage. That does not nerf rocket jumping, by the way. I haven't tried these out, but I don't really. I can't see it. I wouldn't land on an enemy's head. It's a bad idea. I mean, maybe if you were. Somebody's gonna perfect it, make it really good, and it's gonna be nice. And I'm gonna be sad because I can't do that. But I wouldn't use it. The disciplinary action when you hit an ally. They are sped up for a second, so they go really fast. It does not work on scouts, unfortunately. It does, but it doesn't do anything. So, um, the thing about this is it does 25% less damage, and I think it's just an attempt by Valve to get people to stop using the equalizer, which is what I use and which I will, I will continue to use. The thing about it is, though, it crits a lot. Like, I was playing Spy, and I was disguised, and um, a heavy went to hit me with it to buff me, and he killed me. And that kind of sucked. Then uh, he got a new misc item and a new health, a new pad. No surprise there. Pyro got the detonator, which you cannot detonate or jump with. So it's just a flare gun that you can all fire to detonate, and that it will set um, yourself on fire. It does 25% damage to self, and I don't get why they have that because you can't even rocket jump with it, detonator jump with it. So it doesn't make sense. Uh, next up, the I apologize, it's kind of long, but the overdose, I have not used this yet, I have only used the quick fix, but uh, I kind of want to get my hands on one, it makes you move faster, up to 10% faster, depending on your uber charge, 
and it does minus 10% damage. So, I mean, with a quick fix, if your uber charges 100%, you'll move 10% faster. That's pretty good. Uh, because it charges faster. The, um, the quick fix, it heals 40% faster, uber charge goes 20%, 25% faster, but the uber charge is not invincibility, it's, um, 300% healing rate, which is pretty much invincibility, but if, like, a sniper headshots you, you'll die, or if their whole team's shooting at your face, you will die. It cannot overheal, that is a major disadvantage, and it can move at the speed of any faster heal target, which usually is only a scout. But um, the thing about the uber charge is you can use it to cap points, I think. I'm pretty sure you can use that and cap a point, so that's very, very useful. You can't do that with a normal uber charge, and they pretty much cannot kill you. You are immune to knockback while you are on that, too. So that's a pretty good weapon. I like that. The Solemn Vow, it is um, a bust of Hipp Hippocrates, and uh, ironically it says do no harm on there, and you hit people with it. But um. It lets you see enemy health. There's no downside to it other than it's crafting. It takes like 8 Jurati, I think. So it's really... Yeah, it's 8 Jurati and 1 Reclaim, which is a lot to uh, craft it. So, um... Yeah, I like that. I am I think you can see it when, with any weapon out. So that's really, really useful. I really like that. Obviously, I think the Medic got the best deal out of any of this. And the Soldier would be maybe second demo third and heavy spy and scout and pyro which are what i like to play well lately i've been playing a lot of pyro but i like to play scout a lot and spy a lot um they didn't get really anything decent that i'll use and then of course valve made the decision to make tf2 free to play i really don't mind this a lot of people people's problem is that they can't like effectively ban people because they'll come back but valve set up a system for this I mean, maybe if they have multiple computers, they could do it a couple times before they banned all of them. And, uh, paid players get a, um, get a hat. It's not that good. Everybody has it. It doesn't look too nice. I don't use it. But, I mean, whatever. It's kind of cool. And, um, it's a pretty good marketing decision by Valve, because people who wouldn't have played are going to play, and they're going to want to become premium, and they're going to spend five bucks, and then buy something and then Valve's gonna make more money and then they made the better marketing decision to release the coolers right after in this summer update which easily will bring in a lot of money because they want to buy the new keys and get the coolers which all have a new item in them like I I think I bought I created five of them I paid a little bit and uh, got a hold of some of those keys because you're pretty much guaranteed to get something good. The worst thing you can get is the mailbox or the golf club. Because you can craft those. Which I thought was pretty unfortunate. I found that out after. Which is dumb. They shouldn't be able to be crafted. They should have been an exclusive for that. But I got a couple shoes to put on their head and stuff. So I, I'm not... I don't think the free-to-play thing's a big deal. I mean, people are like, oh no, noobs on our team. Well, they were there before. You were a noob once. Who cares? teach him how to play. It's your job. Um, I think I'm gonna wrap this up now. It's getting a little long, 12 minutes. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye!